So how do we build trust as organizers that we are worth investing in? I'll say two things to um, add to that. One is um, I think harnessing the power of voices in the times of where there's not crisis. And I wanted to dovetail on something you said, which was we know that the far right is very um, strategic in how they treat individual people, the, ma the majority of individual people, in times where there is not a crisis. Prior to Roe, we know even after, I believe the polling said even after SB8 went into effect in, um, sorry, prior to Dobbs, even after um, SB8 went into effect in Texas, there was polling that suggested that the majority of people believed that, their right, that the courts were going to protect their rights. And this was after multiple decades of court decisions that were chipping away at a 1973 decision. There was never a court decision at the Supreme Court after 1973 that expanded the right to reproductive health care access in, that, in our country, but yet people were labeled as extreme radical activists whenever they tried to engage in those conversations out outside of times of crisis. And so I think one of the main things that we have to focus on is voices being elevated, the voices of the majority of people, whether that's in faith communities, which by the way, the majority do not um, stand for any type of version of MAGA Christian extremism. That is, you know, that's a very minority group of people that are trying to, that are taking an outsized amount of political power, or whether that's um, public health professionals or teachers or parents or individuals, you know, yes, in COVID, nationally we started having a conversation about a child care crisis for years prior there were people that were delaying when and to, ha to have their they were delaying having families had foregone having families because they couldn't figure out how they were going to make ends meet and that was happening way before COVID and um, but when people would talk about that it there was then this messaging on the right and so we have to do I think a better job of finding spaces and elevating voices um, in the times where there's not crisis so that there are these alternative ways where people that reflect the experience of all of us um, can can be able to hold the, the, the conversation and the debate of, of the day.